Hello, my name's Lisa, and if this is your first time here, then thank you very much for choosing to click on my video. If you are a returning subscriber, just know that I appreciate each and every one of you. Today's anti-MLM content is going to be a little different. I am not going to be reacting to a video, rather, in my opinion, I am going to be reacting to something that is a lot more important. There is an MLM company who are badly deceiving people by telling them that a certain ingredient is not in their product. But we are going to find out that that is not true. So let's dive in and see what is not present and which MLM I'm talking about. I'm going to be reacting to a story which has been posted on Facebook and I am going to read it to you as well as interject with my commentary. This past year, Mike Truax has been pursuing his hidden dream of becoming a firefighter. He was accepted to begin his next level of training at a local firehouse which included a full physical and drug screening. The lab called to report he failed the drug test for THC. Shocked, Mike asked if he could do a retest as he had not touched marijuana in nearly 30 years. There had to be a mistake. They told him no, they hold a zero tolerance policy. The tests were sent to a federally regulated lab using GCMS confirmation. GCMS stands for Gas Chromatography Mass Spectrometry, which is a specialist machine that tests different components of a sample and the sample was tested twice for accuracy according to the lab's statement. How could this possibly happen? The only product Mike had consumed with any cannabinoids was the THC free labelled broad spectrum hemp waters from Q Sciences. It's called Q Twist Calm. Almost every person in our house used this product daily. As by definition, broad spectrum hemp has zero THC and the product carried a QR code on the package which was supposed to lead to third party testing for verification. Before we continue reading, I've got a couple of things to say about that. Any company that can mislead you in such a way is obviously not to be trusted. I am going to show you a picture of the packaging where it says that this product contains zero THC. So you can understand why this person and this family are in shock. If they had known for one second the product contained THC, then in my opinion, they would not have been taking it voluntarily. And there's no way Mike would have gone for a mandatory drug testing for his new career if he knew there was THC present because he would know that he would fail that drug test for sure. When we went to scan the package, the link was broken. Well, that doesn't seem like a surprise to me that the link was broken. It's almost as if they knew something was about to occur, isn't it? The incident with Mike was reported to Q Sciences where we were told by corporate staff 
that my 48 year old husband must have smoked marijuana or been around someone who had. We informed the company that Mike did not use any form of marijuana and that we had concerns his foul test was a result of using the company's Q twist product. Our concerns were ignored. I find that very irresponsible of Q Sciences, in my opinion, to try and put the blame elsewhere when they already knew that their product contained the THC. Obviously, all of this is just my opinion. As a result, we decided to have the product tested at a third-party facility to confirm our suspicions. Q Sciences claims in its marketing materials and product packaging that the product Q Twist Calm Peak Lemonade Flavour is a broad spectrum hemp product that is THC free. However, our testing of the product, which was done through an independent laboratory conducted by AFOS Analytics, which is FDA registered, ISO accredited and AZDHS certified showed in their COA that not only did the product contain THC but that both the Delta 8 THC and Delta 9 THC each seeded the allowable percentage of THC as defined by the 2018 US Hemp Farm Bill. Q Sciences also makes the claim that the product contains 10 milligrams of CBD in each stick. The results showed that the CBD amount per stick was far less than half of the amount that is represented only containing 3.79 milligrams versus the 10 milligrams promised on the packaging label. According to the test results, there is more total THC than CBD in the product. So the test shows there was 3.52 milligrams of Delta 9 THC, 1.55 milligrams of Delta 8 THC, and only 3.79 milligrams of CBD. The testing by the lab clearly shows that the product does contain THC, even though on the Q Sciences packaging that clearly states that it doesn't contain THC. This is an image of the back of the Q Twist Calm product peach lemonade flavour which is the product being discussed here and as we can see clearly there it says it is THC free. However the lab results do not support what the image on the back of the package is saying. So you can easily understand the confusion of people like Mike and his family. One thing I do want to say is anyone in Q Sciences who has been selling this product myself and anyone else who is going to bring this content to people's attention none of us blame you or hold you responsible because in the likelihood you didn't know it contained thc either and this is the main reason for making this video and hoping and praying that you spread it far and wide to anyone in America and Canada who are likely to have purchased this product and 
sadly, given it to their children. I'm pretty confident when I say that most responsible adults would not give a product that contains THC knowingly to their children. Through our attorney, we brought these test results to Q Science's attention. We requested that the public be made aware of the test results given what had happened to Mike and what could potentially happen to other consumers if not informed. However, since bringing this to Q Science's attention, the company has not made the information public nor has it done a recall on the product. In my opinion, the company has done nothing at the time this statement was put out and that was, I believe, several days ago because I'm late to the party but hey ho, this is so important and it needs bringing to everyone's attention now and being continued to bring to everyone's attention for as long as it takes for it to be sorted. At the time of recording this video, I have done some Google searches regarding this product to see if it has been recalled. And as of today's date, which is the 2nd of September 2023, no, it has not been recalled. In my opinion, that is disgusting. It's a serious breach of people's trust it is deceptive and it makes me afraid to trust anyone who is selling an MLM product not so much for the person who's doing it but for the company because not only are they deceiving their consumers they are also deceiving all of the people that have put their trust in that company built teams and given them every hour of their lives for years and now in my opinion they are being abused by Q Sciences. Just to reiterate what was said, this information was brought to Q's attention. The company has not made the information public nor has it done a recall on the product. Instead they said it was only that specific lot number that contained the THC. Yet, product Mike failed his drug test with was a different lot number than the one that was tested. With the company not notifying consumers of these rights and continuing to ship the same product, it is our civil duty to publicly inform consumers as well as to report to necessary agencies the test results that we obtained. I 100% agree with you that it is your duty knowing this to bring it to other people's attention. And the reason for that in my opinion is the laws that are being broken. Distributors of this product are having it sent across state lines as well as sent to other countries, presumably. It's not legal in every country and it's not legal in every state. So therefore, surely they are breaking the law in sending out the product? Not only that, it will put so many people at risk. A child's body cannot consume the same amount of THC as an adult can. And people are innocently giving this to their children because they just don't know that it contains the THC. And that is a lie needs to be exposed. And not only that, but the THC itself can have a bad interaction with other medication. You imagine 
someone else taking this product not knowing it's got thc in it and driving their car for instance what major catastrophe could happen to that person and they would be prosecuted to the full extent of the law and have absolutely no idea that they've got thc in their system that is absolutely abhorrent to me if you have failed a drug test and or lost a job because of the q twist calm cbd waters or if your family or household have suffered any negative impact because of q sciences products related to thc please fill out the google form in the comments to report it is our intention to report these incidents to the appropriate regulatory agencies mike and i are truly disappointed as we stood behind and sold these products for many years based on the test results we obtained the product was not what was represented on the label and in our opinion we do not believe this issue was handled appropriately or with any sense of urgency we share with the intention that no one else is harmed the same way our family was i feel really angry that you were deceived in that way you were working for q sciences and promoting this product in all innocence and it has come back and bitten you on the backside in the most horrible way possible it has destroyed your husband's dream and it has made you realize that the mlm you were working with has deceived you possibly for many years in my opinion your i'm not going to call it your business because we all know it's not your own business but the company you were representing has lied to not only you but how many thousands of others the sad thing about this is that mike cannot get his dream job hopefully once things are proved that may change because it wasn't in his control what happened but just imagine the circumstances of others people in a rehab facility could have innocently taken this product and lost their place people in positions of powerful jobs like policemen firemen and anyone in a government position could have taken this product total innocence and could be drug tested and lose their jobs people in the military could be court-martialed and lose their pensions what this company is doing in my opinion is absolutely disgusting please do not let them get away with it share this video far and wide report this to the appropriate authorities and help the innocent people to have a voice that is going to be heard this is the certificate of analysis and the summary of results i'm not going to read it out because you can see on the screen that it does have the total amount of thc here and that is for i believe it is the delta 9 i wouldn't swear to that a hundred percent and then in this box you've got the amount of thc in the delta 8 which is 1.59 percent and then here you've got the total amount of cbd which is 3.79 milligrams per unit 
which is less than what was stated on the packaging of this product. This is the result of the Quest Diagnostics, the informational result of the sample that Michael sent in. I'm not going to read it all to you, but the bit that makes all of the difference is the fact it's positive for marijuana and negative for any other drug. And the specimen provided for testing was a urine specimen. And if you're like me, not involved with any MLM products, or if you are and you don't know which product I'm talking about, this is a image of the front of the product. And as you can see, it's called Q Twist Calm, and it's the peach lemonade flavour. The thing I find most disturbing about this is the fact people were taking this product without the knowledge that it contained THC. Before I finish up here, I just want to throw something out there. I am not anti-marijuana. I am not anti-THC. I am a person who deals on a daily basis with extreme pain and having marijuana and or THC has helped people for many years so I am totally not anti it. What I am anti is the deception, the lies and the serious consequences that could occur from people innocently using this product. In my opinion, you are drugging people without their consent and it needs to stop now. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you don't want to do either of those things, that is absolutely fine but please i'm begging you please share this message this video go onto youtube and find what i am talking about it will be linked below in the comments and if nothing else please share that to bring it to people's attention if you don't want to share my video Thank you all for staying to the end. I really do appreciate you and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye for now.